Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy this simple Streamlit application using Google Cloud Run. So you're going to expose your application online at this public URL. Of course, URL is going to be different and everyone with this URL will be able to access your application. So this is a great way if you have created like a Streamlit application locally or if you have some Python code and you want to showcase your work to deploy your application in a very simple way. It's going to be most likely free because Google Cloud Run offers um, quite a good free tier that you can use it for free. And just in case you get billed because your application is used a lot, Google Cloud Run it offers uh, like a positive advantage compared to App Engine or any other solution such as Heroku that you're going to be billed only when your application is used because it's uh, serverless. So basically you don't have to maintain the server and you don't have to worry about uh, updating uh, a server and uh, downtime because all that is going to be managed by Google. If you want to find out more about Cloud Run, I would suggest you to look at their official website in which they explain all the positive features and I'm going to suggest you to look at my previous video in which I show how to deploy a Flask application on Google Cloud Run and I explain a bit what Google Cloud Run is and which are the benefits compared with other services such as Heroku or even App Engine. Streamlit on the other end is a very nice open source um, Python package that allows you to build powerful application with very little code. So basically you don't have to add much to the code that you have already written in Python, but you're going to be able to create a very nice application such as this one that I was showing you before and you don't need to have any front-end skill development. So you don't need to know how to write JavaScript or React, you just convert your Python code in this beautiful web application. In this tutorial I'm going to use a boilerplate from Streamlit. So here on their website they show you how to create a Data Explorer app. So this is what I'm using specifically for this example. I'm using this code here at the bottom. Of course feel free to use a different source code or change this based on your requirements and to deploy any Streamlit application. Okay? So as you can see here I have deployed online and I have deployed locally. So let's go step by step and I will show you all the things that you need to do to um, deploy it on Google Cloud Run. So to follow along with me in this tutorial, you will also need to install Google Cloud SDK command line tools. It's not really required as I've showed you in my previous video on Flask, which I'm going to put a link here at the top. You can also do that by pushing your code to GitHub and then cloning it online and deploy your application. But I think it's much easier if you install Google Cloud SDK command line tools. So you can just go here on Google, search for Google Cloud SDK, installing, and I will put a link down in the description, and then here it explains how to install it. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. You just have to run this command based on your operative system. Okay? So now that we know what we need to do to get started, let's create a new project with PyCharm. I'm going to use PyCharm for this tutorial just because I think it's a great IDE. Of course, feel free to use any other IDE. Or in fact, you don't even need an IDE because it's going to be very simple to deploy this application. But I think PyCharm offers like a lot of nice features for free, so I'm going to use that. So we're going to create a new project. So we're going to create this project. In my case, I'm going to create it on the, the desktop and I call it Python project. I'm going to create a virtual environment. It's always a good practice to create a virtual environment when you create an, a web application because so you're going to be able to manage all the dependencies um, and test that everything is working locally before you push it to uh, the cloud. So we are going to here PyCharm, we are going to create a new Python project using virtual environment, Python 3.8 is fine, we are not going to inherit global side packages and we are not going to make it available to all projects. So we can click on create and we are creating a project. So PyCharm has created the project for us, which is located in my desktop, GitHub project, Python project, and has already created a virtual environment for us. We can check that by going here at the bottom into the terminal, and we can type pip list, 
and then we are going to see that we only have pip and setup tool install because we created just a new virtual environment. Of course, if you're not using PyCharm, you can still create a virtual environment and then you have to activate it. I will just put a link down in the video description on how to do that or just Google how to create a virtual environment in your project. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to create a Python file, which we're going to call it app. And this will contain all our streamlit code. And let's go and copy directly from their website. So we can go back here. We can go to their website and we're going to copy all their code. Again, feel free to change this code and to edit based on your needs. So we can just copy this code here. And this is the code that we have. Now we can see that PyCharm is highlighting that this is in red because we don't have Streamlit, Pandas or NumPy installed. So let's go and install them. So we're going to pip install and then we can say pip install Streamlit. Of course in PyCharm you could have used alt enter and then it's the install package Streamlit. But I just want to show you how to do it from the terminal. So we do pip install streamlit and this is going to install streamlit and automatically also is going to install pandas because it's a dependency and numpy. While this is happening, we can go again here in new python project, create a new file inside the same directory and we're going to call it requirements.txt. In this file, we are going to write all the requirements that we need. So in this case, I'm using this version of the three uh, Python, pandas, NumPy and Streamlit. Of course, you can use a more updated version if you want to. I would recommend you to just specify a version so you always uh, can check that everything is working. And then, of course, when a new version of this package is going to be released, then you can update that. As you can see right now, you're seeing that it's not installed because we are just installing it. So we just have to wait for a second. And these are the only three dependencies that we have in our project. It says it's not satisfied just because it's installing, so just let's wait uh, for a minute, and that's going to be fine. That error message is going to go away. Then I'm going to create a readme file in which I'm going to save the command that we're going to use, uh, readme.markdown file, in which I'm going to save the command that we're going to use to deploy our application. Of course, I forgot to mention it before, but I'm going to make this code available on GitHub. So check down in the video description, and as always, you will be able to find a link with the source code. So you can just copy and paste and deploy it on your application. I'm going to copy and paste some boilerplate code here, and I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing here, and which command are this one. Just keep in mind that you will have to change something in your specific um, case because of course you are going to deploy it in a different project. So great, now we have installed the requirements and as you can see here we have all the requirements that have been installed. Now we want to launch our application locally. So we can do with streamlit and then we can say run app.py and app.py is the name that we gave to the python file. So of course if you call it in a different way you have to change this name. So let me run this one. So it's running on localhost. So if I click here, it should open the application. Great, and it shows Uber pickups in New York, loading data. It's running the, lo the load data, and it's going to display the data in a second. So here we are running the application locally. After we check that everything is working, we want to then deploy to Google Cloud Run. Okay, so the application is running. Let me go back here, and you say Uber pickup in New York, City. I just want to show you that uh, we can update the application. It should have auto reload. So if I save this file here and I go back to my browser and I refresh this page, we can see Uber pickups in New York City. I just wanted to show you, I mean, I, I don't want to change anything else because of course then you can change all the chart and everything. But the scope of this video was just to show you that uh, it's not static. You can also change the code and then it's going to be updated uh, automatically. So great, now we have done almost everything that we need to do. We just need to go back to our project. So here in, um, we just have to go here in PyCharm. So we have the app.py file, we have the readme, which I'm going to explain in a second what I've put here inside this readme 
and just uh, you know in a second I will explain everything. We have the requirement.txt file which shows us which are our dependencies. We need to create one last file which is called is a Docker file. Okay, so we have create a Docker file, and in this Docker file we are going to copy some boilerplate text. As I previously mentioned, don't worry too much because I'm going to put this. Uh, uh, sorry, I haven't copied the full text. So I'm going to put this code in a GitHub repository, which is going to be public. So you're going to be able to copy this code without any issue. But let me explain more or less what I've written here in the Docker file. So we just specify the Python. So we specify that we need Python 0.3. And then we have to expose a port. We are exposing a port for Streamlit to show our application. And we're going to reference this port here down. So we are exposing this port and we are actually going to deploy our Streamlit application on port 8080. Then we are uh, copying all the file inside the Docker. So all the files that are inside this project, we are copying it inside Docker. We are installing the requirements with docker, with this command, run pip install our requirement.txt, and then we're running the application. So we are doing it almost uh, exactly as we are doing it locally, because as you can see locally, we say extremely run app.py. But the only thing that we need to add, if you want to deploy it on Google Cloud Run, is this server enable course false. And we want to change the port just because we want to expose it on port 8080. So these are the two main things that you need to change uh, and you don't actually have to change, you just have to write it here in the Docker file. But uh, is the major difference from running it locally and running it inside the Docker file. So now it's perfect. We have the app.py file with all our Streamlit application. We have the Docker file with all the command needed for Docker to build our application. Then we have the readme, which contains the Google Cloud Console uh, commands, which I'm going to tell you in a second. And we have the requirement.txt. Of course, uh, if you want to be, uh, this is, I want to keep it simple. You can also add a Docker ignore file and you can also add uh, a gcloud ignore file. I will put a link here at the top in the video description to another video in which I explain those two files. But I want to keep this video very simple because it allows everyone, even with uh, a limited knowledge with how Google Cloud Run works, uh, to get started. So let's go to the next last, last step and how to deploy this application on Google Cloud Run. So in order to deploy the application on Google Cloud Run, we're going to use this command. So first, we're going to build and submit our application. So we're going to build it and submit it to Google Cloud Run, and then we're going to deploy. Okay. So most of this code, you will not have to change it, aside of this two part here. So the name of the project, and the name of the application. As you can see, it's repeated here and here. So you will need to change that based on your specific uh, Google Cloud Run configuration. So how do you find this information? Well, let's go back to the browser and we can just go in Google Cloud Run. You can click here and you go to the console. I've already opened it, so I'm already inside the console of my project. This is what is going to be prompted if you click here on console. So here we are. We have to go here at the top, and you can see here there are all my projects. If you don't see any project, or if you have never created any project before, you can just click here, new project, and create a simple project. And you can call it Streamlit application. In my case, I already have a project created, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to deploy it here on testbed. So here on testbed, you can see the name of the project, but we are, what actually we need to put in that command is the project ID. So is this string here. So I'm going to copy, and then I go back here, and I paste it here. And as you can see, I've already done it, so I don't need to change it. So this is the project ID, and has to be copied here and here. And this is the application name. What is the application name? Well, inside Google Cloud Run, this is the name of our application that we're going to see here. So at the moment, I already have a Streamly tutorial application, but I want to deploy another one, which I want to call Streamly tutorial YouTube. It's going to be exactly the same, just with that minor, minor edit where we say New York City, but I, want, I need to give a different name if I want to deploy it here. So let's go and deploy that. So the first command that we need to use is this one. We just have to copy and paste it here in the terminal. 
So let me go, let me actually just close this terminal. I'm going to terminate the local application. So now local is not going to work anymore. And then I just copy and paste this command. And then I press enter. This command is going to take a couple of minutes and it's just going to build our application and send it to Google Cloud Run. So I'm going to fast forward this part, but you can see all the output still in the video. So great, everything was fine. We can see a success message here. So it tells that everything worked fine. Now we need to deploy the application. So let me go back here to the Cloud Console and you can see that there is only one application. Let me refresh this because we haven't deployed yet. So here we have just one application. Let's go back here and let's run this command. It's going to ask us a couple of questions which I'm going to show you what you need to answer. So basically the first one is going to be the service name just because we didn't specify here in the tag so we are happy to call it Streamly Tutorial YouTube you can change that of course if you want to but I'm going to press enter because I defined the name here Streamly Tutorial YouTube and then you have to specify where you want to deploy your application you can deploy it wherever you want or I can deploy it in Asia Asia South so basically you should deploy it closer to where most of your users are going to be. So I'm actually in Singapore, so I'm going to deploy it in Asia South, which is going to be number six, and I just have to press enter. This process also is going to take a couple of minutes, and if everything is fine, and if everything succeeds, then we're going to get a URL that we can click on and we can open our application online, and then we can share our URL with everyone else. Great, everything is fine. As you can see, it says done, success, everything is fine. We can refresh the console here online just to check that our application has been successfully deployed and we should see the new application, Streamly Tutorial YouTube. Fantastic is there and is Asia South. It is very important that here in this command you allow an authenticated call. What does it mean? Is, uh, it means that everyone uh, without logging in can access your application and that's a key because you want that everyone that visits this URL is able to access your application. So let's now click on the URL, we're going to be redirected to the URL and we should see our website. I just want to mention that sometimes it can happen that you get an error when you are uh, loading the, the application for the first time. It didn't happen this time, but if it happens, just refresh the application. And great, now we have our application deployed online and we can just play with it and we can share the link of the application with friends, colleagues, or um, we can share it online to showcase our work. I really hope you find this video interesting. If you have any comments or questions, please write just a comment down in the video description. And if you found this content, the content of this video useful, please consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel. It really helps me a lot because I'm new uh, on YouTube, so my channel is still growing. So it really helps me if you could just consider subscribing or liking my video. And if you want to uh, support my channel, you can buy me a coffee and you can find the link down in the video description. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time.